Here is uh, K2EFG on field day. I got behind me uh, the YP3 antenna. You can see it here. Um, it is um, set up for 20 meters. The, world, the word of the day is caution tape. This is a public park right here on uh, the Belt Parkway. A lot of people are coming by. A lot of people are looking around. Here is the uh, Ultimax antenna set up as uh, whatever you want it to be set up. The buddy pole I'm waiting for, well, my buddies, uh, it's still lying in the ground because I want them to be able to assemble it on NVIS uh, 40 meters, which is the way a lot of the Aries work is being done today, on HF in any event. And so um, this is the rig, still set up, still in the box. I had a bit of an accident. One of the radios, uh, one of the FT-857 had a had a um, had an accident so I'm going to try to um, use it with one of the buttons missing I think it's going to be okay uh, and I'm going to actually try now on 20 meters uh, just as a test uh, later on I'll show you my uh, solar charging station and uh, the battery charging which is the A123 from Buddy Paul as well so with that one more look at the two stations uh, K2 EFG on field day 2014 signing off here's another picture of the station and the YP3 antenna over there is Jojo KB to NBE working um, the wind is kind of picked up and uh, you can tell that there's good things about each antenna the um, end fed antenna is, is very versatile requires very little uh, but it has some loss of uh, efficiency the YP3 antenna is uh, very uh, directed has uh, height requirements but is also susceptible to wind and uh, it's a, it's it's a, it's all a, it's all about trade-offs um, this is the day we've been working 20 meters and 40 meters on various antennas and we are soon gonna get started with charging the antennas this is the station and here is a K2EFG 7.3 and he is working at 40 meters or whatever he feels like because it's an auto tuner um, radio with um, with this uh, end fed antenna and uh, he just worked 40 meters with the uh, W1AW and some other stations I'm very glad about this uh, way this operation is going here's the Barazano bridge in the background and uh, hello it's about 5 p.m. on uh, on field day and uh, the wind has really picked up so I took away the, um, the YP3 antenna and instead I uh, upgraded the uh, um, uh, end fed, the Ultimax end fed antenna with this rig here and this is just the same you can really see how the wind is blowing with the uh, portion tape really kind of blowing as the American flag uh, a down that's uh, some of the workstations. Some of the stations are uh, uh, it, it, it's ready to uh, get back to the car. I still have some uh, charging station here. Uh, you can see that this is a direct uh, charge from um, from a, a panel by uh, Go Zero, and it's charging through the body pole uh, uh, body pole uh, uh, stabilizer and directly into the. Uh, battery so uh, I uh, just made the first contact had some 17 meter contact uh, and uh, I'm gonna walk up and down the uh, up and down the frequency uh, band uh, with that on a windy day on field day uh, 73 k2 EFG